This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone or glorify the use of drugs. Yo, what is good? I'm Loki Fish, and in this video, we're covering the nootropic benefits of the essential nutrient known as creatine. This is a substance that's popular among athletes due to its ability to increase athletic performance and increase muscle mass. But many people don't know that creatine is also one of the most effective cognitive enhancers available. So I'm going to do a full breakdown on why creatine is a powerful nootropic supplement and how it yields a wide range of benefits for our brains. I'll go over anything you'd want to know, including the scientific literature, benefits, side effects, history, personal experience, and everything else in between. Let's Let's get into it. Creatine is an essential nutrient and is a combination of three amino acids that are found in all living animals and humans. If you're deficient in it, your brain cells deteriorate, your essential neurotransmitters decay, and simple things such as language, fine motor skills, and mental health decline. Originally identified in the year 1832, it's one of the most researched supplements in history, and even if you've never lifted a weight in your life, you've still probably heard of creatine before. It's used in the brain to recharge ATP, which is the overall energy supply for our cells and body. It can give our brain energy by reducing mental fatigue and improving how fast we process as thoughts. These two factors alone can boost your overall intelligence level. I'm a genius! It is synthesized in the kidney, liver, and pancreas. Following its biosynthesis, it's then transported to our muscles, heart, brain, and other tissues. Creatine supplementation plays a major role in brain energy capacity and heavily influences the way we think, speak, and work. It can act as a nerve protector due to its ability to increase cellular metabolism, which safeguards brain cells from excess neuronal damage. Once you start supplementing with creatine, you should experience improved intellectual function. Yeah, I'm a freaking genius. Thinking becomes more clear and thought processing becomes more faster. For example, retaining knowledge is easier and something like reading should be simpler because you won't find yourself having to go back and relearn that information again. Did you even read the memo? Additionally, creatine can work as a moderate stimulant and has been shown to improve alertness, wakefulness, and mental capacity. But unlike typical stimulants, you don't experience a crash after it wears off. Rather, creatine helps the cells in your brain store energy for later. It doesn't merely imitate the feeling of energy, but instead provides you with the real thing. They're real oh. and they're spectacular. You'll have a steady and sustained focus without crashing at the end. Creatine is great to add to a nootropic stack with other stimulating supplements because they will often synergize together. It's also been demonstrated to increase blood flow to the brain. As we age and undergo stress, our veins constrict and results in less overall blood flow. In one study, 24 healthy adults were administered 8 grams of creatine per day. And after only 5 days, the participants had significantly less mental fatigue when performing mathematical calculations. The research team concluded that creatine appeared to help increase oxygen utilization in the brain. In another study, researchers evaluated children aged 7 through 12 by measuring different neurochemicals. The kids with the highest levels of creatine had a better working memory and may enhance their critical thinking abilities. Clinical evidence has shown that creatine yields quick decision making after prolonged sleep deprivation, meaning that it can negate symptoms of sleep deprivation and you can work longer and more efficiently on fewer hours of sleep. Yeah, oh, I feel so alive. The recommended dosage of creatine for physical and or cognitive benefit is five grams per day. Some people are more sensitive to creatine than others, so it may be good to start with only one to two grams at first to see how your body reacts to it. Then you could steadily increase your dose until you get to your sweet spot. If you take too much, you can have some annoying side effects. You can become lethargic, have stomach cramps, or reduced appetite. Overconsumption can also be hard on your kidneys or liver, although this is more common during the loading phases of supplementation. There are many different forms of creatine, but there's no indication on if one form is better than the other, so it really just comes down to preference. I just cannot decide. They are both exquisite. Creatine monohydrate is the cheapest and most effective form. Another common option is micronized creatine, and this is the form that dissolves in water more easily easily and can potentially be more practical. Personally, I take one to three grams of creatine every day in the morning. I find it hard to sleep when I take it at night, and this is likely due to the energy boost it can yield when you take it. But if I take it in the morning, I can utilize the extra energy to my advantage and get extra work done. I usually just take it in the capsule form because it's easier that way, but sometimes I'll mix the powder and water and drink it too. I'm one of the individuals that are pretty sensitive to creatine because if I overload and take too much, I become demotivated and lethargic. Oh, lazy. Plus, it makes my skin and eyes really dry when I take too much, but that could just be me. I also try to skip taking it on the days that I intend to drink a bunch of alcohol because alcohol dehydrates you and that's detrimental to creatine's ability to increase water retention. That being said, something that can help reduce these negative effects is an amino acid known as L-carnitine. Carnitine is an essential nutrient that plays an important role in turning fat into energy and helping the brain and heart to properly function. Watch this video next on everything there's to know about L-carnitine and how it helps supply our body with more energy and burn off extra fat. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.